bienvenida, por supuesto, a, a estas pequeñas jornadas. Todos los años empezamos a tener algunas jornadas donde tengamos un encuentro en diferentes puntos de España, que no sea posible, lo que pasa es que bueno, esto no sale barato. A ti, no te jodes. Bueno, y la idea, y la idea un poquito es eh, introducirnos en lo que nosotros eh, queremos eh, promover, que es un buceo consistente, un buceo eh, eficiente. Hasta ahora el buceo creativo ha sido siempre eh, completamente separado de lo que sería el buceo DIR o de lo que se ha basado en el sistema de buceo DIR y eh, en mi opinión eh, lo que es bueno para una cosa puede ser bueno para otra. Entonces lo que sí es bueno para el buceo más extremo a mí me parece que debe ser muy bueno para el buceo recreativo. Y eh, aparte de intentar estar siempre con los ribotellas y con este tipo de cosas, el buceo DIR estaba en el Facebook Pues son side mount que es Es montaje lateral Back mount, montaje en la espalda Side mount, montaje lateral Antes, el sistema lateral Pues tú buceabas con dos botellas Y siempre iban independientes, digamos Por lo que esa redundancia O ese protocolo De latiguillo dos metros, tal No se tenía entonces aquí estaba el amigo Andrew y compañía que han estado ideando cómo poder utilizar este sistema pero con aplicaciones BIM. ¿Bien? Por lo que nace muy recientemente el Z System. ¿Bien? Que sería este de aquí. ¿Vale? Este sistema, este arnés, es el Z System. Hoy eh, Freddy, David. Y Juan, probéis el Z System y Xavi Guajiba, probéis el de Monobotella y mañana pues cambiaremos. Vamos a tener mucha luz, pero aparte también al tener poquita profundidad nos viene estupendamente para practicar al principio un poco, donar gas, manipular un poco el Swanson. First thing we have to do is go and learn what traditional side mount is, see what it is that is so scary. And you have to understand that I came from a very rigid configuration in a community that's very rigid and has a set standards and protocols and set procedures and I've been doing this one for 20 years. So when I went to that community, I was just like, oh my God, nobody can agree on anything. What was important to understand here is, is that I wasn't looking to make side mount DIR. I'm looking to make a side mount system that is compatible with DIR. The ultimate goal is you would be in side mount, you would be in back mount, you would be in PSCR, you would be in MX, and we could all dive together. Same procedure, same deco, same, 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 same. And the only difference would be the configuration, the mindset, protocols, the team, the bailout, the skill, everything's exactly the same. And then to give you that, to, to take away that dynamic instability. Now dynamic instability is a fancy way of saying when the air shifts from one side of the wing to the other that where you feel like uh, that you flip on your back from a normal wing. To get rid of that we have to wrap the wing around the body tied up against the body so the wing is actually all the way around your body. It became a very small and light and compact lifting device. Believe it or not, this particular wing has 18 kilos of lift. Then what we had to do is we had to figure out the gas. So the question came is how do I configure each tank to drive all of these components? So the solution was a distribution block. We took the same idea of this distribution block from the original rebreathers. The PSCR, we had a distribution block. And we said, why not just distribute it to the long hose, necklace, so you have one long hose, one necklace, one BC hose, one dry suit hose, and you use the same distribution system that we've been using for, going on now, I don't know, 12 years, 98, we've been using QC6. It hasn't failed in 12 years, I doubt it'll start failing now. And that allows us to clean the tank up to where we can have simply a gauge, and the male and the male connection. 
And then you can just plug the male connection into the female. And now all of a sudden you've got gas to everything. Second of all, it's static, there's no moving parts. And third of all, you have full bailout, which is the independent double. As opposed to the DIR system on the back mount, where the DIR system back mount we have single point of failure. That's the manifold knob in the middle. It's dynamic, it's high pressure, and if it fails, you lose all your gas. So I can show you and argue with you that this is actually safer by having this, this manifold. This okay implica que de aquí podemos aprender todo. Si esto es bueno, en el buceo en cuevas, en el buceo más extremo, en el buceo más radical, será perfectamente aplicable al buceo recreativo y al buceo normal que hacemos nosotros. Y por tanto, si eso es seguro y son cero accidentes en las cuevas, será súper seguro en el buceo recreativo. Vamos a comer ahora. Vamos a comer el morro todo.